Hi, hope you all are doing great. So this particular video, as you already know it by the title by now, that uh, this is going to be about the admission scenario for the NRI students uh, of uh, in the regional engineering uh, colleges or regional engineering entrance uh, tests, right? So um, uh, what I can say is that when when it comes to the NRI uh, parent or the student, we obviously like every other uh, student here in uh, India or around the world, we wish we, we wish to uh, get into the best of the universities or the colleges. But somewhere in the in the back of our mind, we are also worried or we uh, wanted to explore all the other options uh, uh, available just in case if we couldn't make it. Uh, when this thought comes to our mind, we always have this second option, which is called regional engineering entrance tests. In this entire duration of this video, uh, basically we have two things which will be uh, going ahead in parallel. First is regional engineering entrance examination. Okay. Second is the regional colleges that the, those are there. Okay, so what I'll do to uh, simplify this thing or to make it even more uh, uh, accurate uh, and uh, uh, I think from a learning point of view, if you'll be able to get anything out of it, what I'll do is I'll take an example. I assume that you being an NRI parent or a student residing somewhere, maybe let's say if you're in Dubai and you belong to Tamil Nadu. We'll take an example of Tamil Nadu. Okay. And if you would like to take admission here in India, of course, you have NRI quota. For that, you already know. And we have separately done so many videos on NRI quota on DASA and CAWG. But since this video is uh, dedicatedly uh, dedicated to uh, regional engineering entrance examinations and how to get into these uh, colleges. Okay. So this is going to be a precise process which you have to follow in order to get there. But before you start following the process, you need to know what are the requirements that you need to have an understanding of before even you move forward or put your step forward. Okay. So stay with me. I'll take an example. I am pretty much sure after watching this video, you'll be able to get, uh, you'll be able to know everything that is required and you'll be able to put your best foot forward. So let's go to point number two. Now here in this point number two, as we took an example of Tamil Nadu, let's assume you are from Tamil Nadu. Okay. Whenever you are from any part of, uh, whenever you are from any uh, state of India, you'll say I'm, I belong to Tamil Nadu, I belong to Karnataka, I belong to Maharashtra, Gujarat or whatsoever it is. In India, you have specific examination, engineering entrance examination, dependent on the state itself. For example, for Tamil Nadu, we have TNEA. For Gujarat, we, we have G, uh, GUJCET. For West Bengal, we have WBJEE and so on and so forth. So most of the states, they also conduct their own engineering entrance examination. Uh, we, uh, that's why we call, call them as a regional engineering entrance test. Okay. Apart from that, you all already know about JE. J is a Nash uh, is a national paper. It's, an, it's conducted nationwide. Okay, so J is conducted at a national level, whereas these state engineering entrance examination they are conducted state wise and in that state only. Okay, so this is point number one. So if you belong to Tamil Nadu and you are here in Dubai uh, or UAE and you would like to explore your possibility of getting admission into Tamil Nadu. Then you need to know which examination Tamil Nadu is conducting. So in your case for Tamil Nadu, let's take an example of TNEA, which is conducted by uh, Tamil Nadu authority, uh, government authorities. Now here you need to know two things. First, which examination is getting conducted for your state. And the second thing, which I told you earlier that you have to follow with me is now in Tamil Nadu, through TNEA, you have two options. You have two options of getting into what? First, a government engineering college. This is one. Or second, a private engineering college in Tamil Nadu. So your writing TNEA can help you get admission into any of the good government college in Tamil Nadu itself 
or any private medical college in Tamil Nadu itself. Okay, so I hope this is clear by now. At the end of the video, I will tell you how these things are related and why you need to know all of these things. Okay, so let me just, uh, I have noted it down, couple of uh, things over here and I will try to put this onto the screen. When it comes to Tamil Nadu and when I say government uh, engineering colleges, I have uh, I listed down five of each, five government and five private. With the help of it, I will try to explain it to you. Let me put five government colleges first of all ahead. First is the Anna University. Second is uh, uh, GCT Government College of Technology. Third is College of Engineering, Gundi. Fourth is Coimbatore Institute of Technology. And fifth is Annamalai University. Now, these are the government uh, engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu which are ranking very high. Okay. Then, some private engineering colleges. Private engineering colleges like VIT, Vellore, SRM University, PSG Tech, Coimbatore, Satyabhama University. Uh, uh, then you have Amrita School of Engineering and you have VIT Chennai. Okay, so these are all uh, private engineering colleges. Now, why I said that you have to have a clear idea and a distinction between these three things. First, which state is having which entrance examination? First, in Tamil Nadu we have TNEA. Then you need to know through TNEA you can have admission into two possibilities first possibility of getting admission into government medical uh, government engineering college and second is getting admission into a private engineering college now you have to figure it out what you have to figure it out there is a small uh, problem here and you have to address this beforehand what happens here is many a times and you might have this uh, uh, conception uh, uh, in your mind that if i have written je name which is a nationwide paper uh, most of the universities uh, and I think 100% of the universities will accept my JE score and on the basis of that score I will be able to get into, uh, I will be able to get into, I will be able to get admission into this college and I will uh, go ahead, there is no point in writing any other examination. Here you would, here I would like you to correct you, okay. Why? There, of course, in case of all government colleges, 90% uh, time they will be accepting your JE main. Few of the colleges are there they which might only ask you to write their state engineering examination like TNE. So you need to figure it out first of all. If you have your list of preferences of colleges, then you have to figure it out which college would you be preferring to. Is this college only accepting JE main or this college is only accepting state engineering examination? You have to figure this thing out. This is in the case of government colleges. In case of private uh, uh, engineering colleges, just in case if you would like to go ahead with them, uh, you have to be very serious now. Why? As I mentioned, uh, VIT, Vellore, okay, it's a very prestigious college, though it's a private engineering college in Tamil Nadu, it's a very prestigious one, but they do not accept the JE main score. So, if you are not aware that this VIT Vellore is not accepting JE main and you have if and if you want to secure uh, this college as a second option for your admission in Tamil Nadu you need to know this information beforehand that you also have to write their own entrance examination if you do not write their entrance examination they will not consider you for the admission so this you need to know beforehand you should not miss the bus Okay, so this is point number two, which I try to convey it over here. Soon I'll come to the process part. So now when we move to the point number three, before I move to the point number three, uh, let me just give you a, a quick update that uh, since you, if you are an NRI student or a parent and looking for admission here in India, uh, there is a wonderful ebook that we have prepared for you and the link is there down in the description. You can go ahead and download that for you. Uh, just in case if you and I'm pretty much sure that uh, whatever I'm telling you right now is just a small glimpse. Um, you might be having a couple of other uh, queries over there. Uh, just do comment your queries in the comment section below. I'll try to answer uh, 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 most of them, if not all. 
and our email id is info at testprepcard.com you can send in your queries over there also along with your contact number and we will try to respond you back as soon as possible with the best possible answer now coming back to the point number three so i've explained you the concept of regional engineering entrance tests through these tests you can get into two different streams government engineering colleges and private engineering colleges just to un uh, understand this process of getting admission in regional engineering colleges i would just like to reassure something uh, uh, once again uh, so just uh, so that so, so that we know that okay we are on the same ground okay i have written down couple of things over here let me just name five top five private engineering colleges here in india and we will see what impact does it have on these colleges whatever you have understood so far okay and this will help us you to understand a little better so the very first college for the private engineering colleges in india let's say the very first is vit velour which is again in tamil nadu this is first second thapar institute of technology uh, engineering and technology which is in punjab third bits pilani bits is birla institute of technology fourth is uh, uh, SRM University Chennai and fifth is MS Ramaya Institute of Technology. Now all of these are basically private engineering colleges. Till now you must be thinking this that in order to get into even to in or uh, to the top private engineering colleges there in India, you will only have to write JEE main to an extent you are right also because till now you have understood this only. But the uh, what's but what what what's happening is uh, when we are talking about few of these private engineering colleges, they just don't accept J main score. Few of these colleges which I just named you, they only accept their own engineering entrance examination, and this is the information that you need to know beforehand, which I was talking earlier. Okay, so you need to know this thing now. Now. Coming back to the list itself, VIT Valor. Now, VIT Valor is uh, not accepting JE main score. They have their own entrance examination, which you have to give. Only then you will be allowed to take admission into VIT Valor. Now, in the second part of this uh, uh, point number three, I will be coming to the admission process. There, I will explain you again this thing in detail. I will come to college number two. Thapar Institute of Technology, which is in Punjab, yes, they accept JE main score. So, if you have given JE main, you will be eligible to take admission into Thapar Institute of Technology, which is again uh, ranked almost second or third uh, uh, in, in the private engineering college list. So, they will accept your JE main score. Bits, Pilani, Bits, they do not accept JE score, they only accept their own Bitsat score. Okay. SRM University Chennai, SRM University Chennai, they accept JE main score along with their own entrance examination. So, if you have not written JE main, if you uh, couldn't write JE main for any reason, you can write their own entrance examination, which is SRM JE, they'll also accept that. Then comes the fifth the college, which I mentioned, which is MS Ramaya Institute of Technology. Now, this college, they do not accept JE main score, they uh, accept their own entrance examination. So, when your target is to get into regional engineering colleges, one is getting into government medical colleges. Over here, most of the time, probability is very high that they will be accepting JE main. But if you have a targeted college, it's wise enough to go ahead and search a little bit to understand if they will accept JE main or not. If not, then you have to prepare your plan B alongside because you cannot afford to be late. Okay. Similarly, in the private uh, engineering colleges, if you are keeping few of those options available, like BITS Pilani is very reputed. If you are planning to get into BITS, along with JE main, you need to have an idea of BITSAT also. I am not saying that the uh, syllabus is entirely different. But yes, entrance examination, uh, entrance exam is, is, is itself a different uh, thing altogether. Okay, so you at least have to consider this thing that you have to appear for a bitsart paper. If you do not appear for a bitsart paper, how will you be able to get admission into this, this college? So this is why it's important for you to know which college is accepting what 
बिफोर हैंड ओके If you are in grade ट्वेल्थ you cannot get uh, uh, late anymore. If you are in grade इलेवन you have plenty amount of time in hand, and uh, uh, you can do your research well. Which specialization is offered in which college, in which state it is? Uh, do I belong to that state? Do uh, do they have an RI quota or not? Uh, uh, what are the other private uh, engineering colleges in India which is offering my specialization? Because if you come across these colleges later back in time. like uh, three four months before the entrance examination it will be too chaotic and you will you'll not be able to apply best of your mind over there and you'll get confused so this is um, uh, part 1 of point number 3 now point uh, part 2 basically of point number 3 part 2 is all about the counseling process how do you get admission be it a government medical or government engineering college or a private engineering college how do you ultimately get admission and when we are nris we also wanted to know uh, the fee part the nri quota is there or not so uh, in this video i think we, we can just skip the nri quota thing uh, in this video just to make it uh, simpler and to understand what's the process okay so the process is simple yet Uh, a little confusing simple in in a sense of what it's simple because if you are a nri you are trying to get admission in tamil nadu under regional uh, engineering uh, uh, college you would like to get admission over there if you are planning for a government uh, 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 government engineering college in tamil nadu then you need to know which examination you have written if you have written je main then you need to follow the counseling process of je main to get admission into this college whichever it is as i have mentioned for example let me just open it up uh, for uh, tamil nadu we have mentioned let's say uh, anna university so madras institute of technology which is also called as mit is for engineering in anna university and if you would like to go to this university you you have to follow their own counseling process so you need to know this thing in an advance and this is different for i i, I won't say it's different for all of the colleges but at least for 15 to 20% of the colleges it the, the admission process is different if you are going through if you have written je main then your counseling will be conducted by josa j o s a and you will be getting admission into your desired college through josa itself so college has got nothing to do with it so the counseling process is, is a simple in this manner whichever entrance examination you have given after conducting the entrance examination those authorities will also conduct your counseling rounds in the counseling rounds you will be allotted seats to these colleges depending on the marks that you have secured in your entrance exam it is as simple as that i still understand that there might be uh, Uh, there might be few questions around this that you can always put down in the comment section so this is for the government for private since many of the private engineering colleges and which are the reputed ones i'm not talking about uh, majority of the private engineering colleges which are not ranking very high because for the admission sake they will take your je main score also so there is no uh, there is no point there is no counseling for that There is not, there, nothing happens for it because it's like a paid seat basically. If your score is not good and you have written JE main and the private engineering college is also not known, it's uh, if it's not a reputed one, you don't have to go through any counselling or anything. You just have to present it to them that okay, I have I'm an RI candidate and uh, this is my JE main score. Uh, will you be giving me the admission? They straight away say you yes, we'll give you the admission. Fee is going to be this much. So it's like a paid seat. You pay, you get admission. Straight forward. but if your private engineering college is a reputed one okay it's coming in like let's say top 10 15 20 30 you know, like to that extent they will be conducting their own entrance examination when they will conduct their own entrance examination and they uh, uh, and if they are not accepting je main then you need to remember this that you have to appear for je main because you also we would like to go for dasa and cwg and ri quota those that part and at the same time you also have to appear for this entrance examination conducted by this private engineering college 
because you and uh, because this is your backup you do not like to miss this opportunity so you also have to write down this entrance examination do, uh, do not worry about the date clashes or, or anything it doesn't uh, uh, it's it's not around j mean uh, uh, it's i think most of the time it happens i think in the month of uh, may mid or may end i guess so that you can check from the respective website so in that sense you need to know that i have to appear for this particular entrance examination for this private university and when you appear for a personal or a or a, or a customized examination for this particular private uh, engineering college or a university they will only conduct the, their own counseling session and in the counseling session based on your score or rank or cut off or marks they will allocate you the seat so it is complicated in this manner that i hope you have understood till now if you are appearing for je je will conduct counseling uh, counseling if you are appearing for private engineering college if they are having their own entrance examination basically you can figure it out in, by saying so that number of entrance examination given by you will have equal amount of counseling process going on and you have to appear in all of them in order to secure seat either in government engineering college or a private engineering college so this basically is the process of getting admission in the regional uh, engineering colleges here in india uh, though the process of uh, uh, getting admission may differ slightly from state to state but do not worry still you have the comment section down below comment uh, in the section below with a specific query and we will try to answer it all and once again if you are not subscribed to the channel subscribe it for the latest updates thank you